The iconic blue and white is no doubt synonymous with Greece, but with Greece being thousands of miles away, it is here in Potong Pasir that we get to experience Greece right here at this very doorstep. Welcome back to Crazy Nice Homes. Today we're here to explore a three-bedroom condominium unit that is 963 square feet. Ready? Let's go! Hi! Hey. Hi! Thanks for having me in your home. Of course. Welcome. Okay, Satya, what's the theme and inspiration behind your house? Sure. So as you know, COVID has really restricted our travel and Greece is our favourite place to go. Ah. And we couldn't, so we thought, why not bring Greece home? Oh. Specifically Santorini. Awesome. Can't wait to check out this home. Sure, let's go and check it out. Right. Wow, look at this nice blue ceiling feature here. You love it, don't you? I do, I do. Yeah, this was this iconic Santorini blue that we wanted to bring at home, but in a very subtle manner. And we also wanted to make sure that it's made of wood, so it uh, has a natural look to it. And this wooden, uh, blue on wooden panels was also reflective in the skirtings and the doors that you see in the house, which all add to the element of overwhelming white and punches of blue. Yeah, which is Greece and Santorini, right? Absolutely. And you know, looking up here, it brings me down here to this very bold feature wall. So what's with this wall? Well, as you know, whitewashed surfaces are a big thing in Santorini and we wanted to bring that back home. And that's why we chose real stone and covered that with white. Okay, so the stone was originally... Grey, dark grey in colour. Okay. So in order to achieve what the owner desired the um, house to, to be, so I have proposed to him using this um, cultured stone together with the blue timber ceiling in order to achieve a Santorini feel home. And a lot of artifacts that we had displayed in our previous home, we wanted to find a home for it here. And uh, what better way to do it than on the feature wall itself? So we then crafted out um, the shelf panels all around in a very asymmetric form, but okay. still has a lot of balance to it. Yep, yep. And uh, then we ensured that the colours of the, the wall was white, because only then would these brown artifacts really stand, stand out. Stand out, okay, yes, great. Correct. You know, like look, standing here or sitting down here, looking at this feature wall with this blue colour dome on top, Really feels like I'm a holiday. Yes, I wish we could all have a holiday every day. <laughs> <laughs> Pros is, as you can see, is, is beautifully done, okay? And cons is, it check dust along the gap. I also did highlight to the owner about it. So you really need to do some maintenance. So Satya, where do you get these pictures from? Well, I'm glad you like them. It was actually shot by myself. Uh, during that trip to Santorini. And, oh, you shot and, it yourself? Yes, and uh, bringing those memories back home makes it a lot more memorable. I see, yeah, and you have pictures all across the house, right? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Okay, so I, I love this blue colour here. Very, very Santorini Greece. Yes. And what's with the tiles? Oh, yes, I'm glad you noticed. So basically, this, these tiles invite you into our bathroom. Oh, wow, yes. you need an invitation to the bathroom, <laughs> yeah. okay. As you can see, the primary colours are very similar to what you've seen outside. It's blue and white. Yes. And uh, we chose these uh, dark blue tiles because this is the closest that we could get to Santorini. Okay. However, the challenge is uh, this blue is pretty dark, as you can see. So there was no way with the current lighting conditions that it would work which is why we had to add five lights into this bathroom yeah. to brighten up the space, especially there's no window in this space as yeah. well. And then you can see the beauty of the yeah. blue. Absolutely, that really shines out. And then to complement the blue, we wanted to make sure there's a lot of white here. Okay. And that's why the entire lower section of the bathroom is white. And that also breaks the eye from this dark blue and allows the floor uh, with these gorgeous uh, uh, pattern design tiles yeah. to really shine through. So this pattern design tiles uh, it looks a bit faded. Is it designed this way? Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a rustic look to it and we wanted something that had a feeling of lived in, being lived in and uh, these are designed that way. I see. Ladies house, definitely it will take longer period to do so and it takes approximately two to three days longer than usual tiles and the price I would say it will be about 20% higher compared to the normal tiles because it really takes a longer time to do so by a patient taller. The next thing that you'd notice is the wash basin. Yeah, that's nice. That blue is very, very hard to find and especially that tonality of that blue. And so this match with, matches with this, Exactly, right? so and that's the interesting story about this, um, this toilet bowl. It's perhaps the last one that ever existed. Oh. It just was last manufactured in 2018. They stopped production in 2018 and okay. I looked for about 20 to 30 stores 
looking for the, the small shops, looking for this blue toy oh. ball. Couldn't find it. Had to go down to a, a larger store. Okay. And finally, at the right at the corner, I could find one piece. At the corner. At the corner, because nobody wanted to buy it for three years. <laughs> nobody bought it. They slashed okay. the price from four fifty to one fifty. Oh. And then I was like, I'm paying the one fifty right now and getting it. And you got such a good deal too. Absolutely. Yeah. And it fits the theme of this entire toilet. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. For this deco house, me and the owner, we had a different point of view. Okay. For him, he preferred to do this um, grout line to be blue. Okay, but I prefer to be white so that it can achieve a 3D effect. And at the end of the day, it really turns out quite well. The owner was also happy about it. So I love this wide open area here. Uh, glad you like it. Uh, actually, this wasn't like this when we got it. Okay. Um, if you can know, this is a three room condo yep. and living spaces are pretty small. So the only way to, to get a larger space is to break down walls, oh. which is what we did. And we broke down, as you can see from the floor, this is a separate room. We have I to see. break these walls down to open up the space. And that allows us to you know, communicate much better in the house and have guests that are more connected to us as well. I see. Now that you say, I can tell because the flooring is totally different. Absolutely. It gives you an illusion of a different space. So this segments the whole space together, right? Absolutely, yeah. So what are these tubes that I see here? There are many oh, of them. Yes, the, these are uh, what we call LifeLock posters. It's a, it's a company that I run. And that was a challenging thing when we came over here because all of this was in a separate storeroom than in our previous home. So moving from there and coming over here, we were really confused on how do we stock all of these posters around here. So instead of fighting that decision, we thought, why don't we design around it and make that part of the design? Okay. And storage being such an issue, what we thought was, how do we uh, then bring Santorini into combine that with storage? And which is why you see all of these shelves are actually inspired by the Santorini architecture of the blue oh, and white buildings. Okay. And that sort of flow down into the water escape. Oh, I see. This is like the, the hills of Santorini. That's correct. And goes down to the agency. Absolutely. Okay. And you have the dome here yeah, as well. Absolutely. Yes, you can see the dome. And that was actually, if you can see, this is a blue color dome. So you bought this like this? Uh, no, I actually I had to find a white one. I had to do a DIY approach oh. to get the right color of blue. And so I painted the So dome. you painted it yourself? Absolutely. Okay. And I like doing a lot of DIY stuff, which you'll see around the house. The other aspect is also all the artifacts that you see over here in contrast to the ones that you see in the living room. Uh, which are very brown in nature. Yep. These are white because it complements the blue much better. I see. And the wall behind is a light shade of blue as That's well. That's correct. So we wanted to have not just one color of Santorini blue because that would make it a lot more monotonous. Okay. So we wanted to add a little bit more texture and, and gradients to the blue. So we have different shades of blue perking all over the place and just gives a little more depth and diverse, diverse colors of the blues. So I really love how you've done it, your balcony is really different. Thank you. Uh, this is a very DIY approach. As you can tell, it's got a distressed paint look. Uh, that's because I sat down and painted this myself. There's a lot of DIY in this space. Okay. And yeah, then what we did was decorated it out with some pebbles and some plants to just give it a lot more resort feel to it. Yeah, it's like a holiday, right? Absolutely. And you know, you have this light here, DIY? Yes, DIY as well. <laughs> okay. I love the ropes because it's a naval theme. Yes, and that's exactly why it's there as well. To give you a feeling of that you're in Santorini. And uh, combined with the white ceiling and the white floor, it really brings out Santorini back. And adding the waterscape behind you, it is a perfect place for you to relax in the morning, have your coffee. Have a nice cocktail, you know, enjoy the, enjoying the view here. Yes, this is a, a beautiful place to stay. And this is very accessible as well because the access to this place is from three rooms, from the study area, from the living, oh. and also as you can see, oh. it's from the bedroom. So in the morning, you don't really need to get out from the main just hall, jump just jump out here. <laughs> okay. So that was the first entrance into the balcony, and this is the second entrance. You know, this bit fits so snugly that you really don't have space to move around. Oh, well, there is no other reason for this room apart from sleeping and storage, uh, which uh, brings me to the design concept of this place, which, as you can see, is inspired from the same design that you see in the, in the outside. outside. And there's an extension of the design here with the white and blue shelves going down to the water. 
And second, even the wardrobe here is also And the white. paint in your room as well, Correct, right? that complements the white, the overwhelming white with the shelves, and that gives a nice contrast to this room. So this is the master bedroom, but this looks like a kid's room. Well, it is. We decided to give the largest room to our daughter. Huh? But, but why? Well, we were moving from a much larger space to a much smaller space. So we didn't want it to be a compromise for our daughter and give her the space and room to grow and live in. And plus, we had the study area, the living room, the rest of the house was ours. So why not give the, the master bedroom to her? Wow, this is a father's sacrifice. So this is the master bathroom. And as you can see, contrasting versus the other bathroom that you saw, it's a little bit more feminine. And that was, of course, dictated by our daughter. Yeah. And uh, the starting point of that was this basin, okay. uh, which as you can see is uh, quite a combination of blues, greens and turquoise. It's a little bit more feminine. And that sort of dictated the design theme for this bathroom. So I really like how this thing links to the wall. What kind of tiles are we looking at here? Well, these are inspired by the mermaid scales and also reminds us of the waves of Santorini. And the co a combination of that with this basin really gives a nice feminine look to this, this bathroom that, that pairs really well with the other bathroom. Yeah, that is a very nice touch. And uh, the other aspect that I wanted to show with what was the furnishings. Okay. As you can see, a lot of them are white mm -hmm. because that's primarily what you see in, in Greece as well. Okay. And we wanted to make sure that it's a little bit of a modern European look and not too modern in a sense so that it fits much nicer with the, the Greek theme versus the most of the stuff that you find in the market today. For this vanity top, okay, this is the owner bought it from outside, okay. For the surface, it will decay easily because let's say the owner spilled the oil or the hand soap or the water, so after a while the surface will be rotten or decayed. So I did advise the owner to pay for a quartz which is not expensive, it's something like two to three hundred dollars and it's gonna last for years to go. So Satya, had a million dollar question, how much did it cost to do up your beautiful home? Cost about $50,000 and one month of time working hard with Colin. Well, with Greece being a popular tourist destination, what better way to bask in the tranquility of Greece and to surround yourself with the beautiful Greek islands in your very own home. If you like my home, make sure you like this video. And subscribe to this channel. If you have a crazy nice home, do contact us. We'd love to showcase your home. If you have a comment about this home, do let us know in the comment section below. So with that, Satya, thank you very much for showing us your crazy nice home. Take care, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.